Our pets are important parts of our lives. And an important part of having a pet is providing them space to enjoy the outside so they can get some fresh air and be dogs. At PetSafe, we're committed to developing a variety of options for you as pet owners so that you can have a safe and comfortable place for your pet. One of the ways we do this is with our kennels. This video is designed to walk you through choosing the right location for a kennel, setting it up, and getting your pet comfortable in his new space. A pet safe kennel is a terrific option for you as a pet owner. They're galvanized, so it's going to be a solution for you for a long time. We also offer a variety of sizes, so you'll be able to choose the one that will work best for your pet and your yard. We also offer expansion panels, so if you choose to make your kennel larger later, you can, or if you get another pet. The first thing you want to do is choose the right location for your kennel, so we're going to do that now. Come on. So this is the location that I'm thinking of for my kennel. And as you're choosing yours, there are a few things that you want to consider. You want an area that's relatively flat, but also has a gentle slope, so that any rain will drain away from the kennel. Shade's very important for your pet, so that he stays nice and comfortable in his kennel. If you can't find a shady place in your yard, you should consider getting a sunblock top. We make these specifically for your kennel, and they're available at PetSafe.net. Next, I want to think about the kennel's location to my house and the positioning of the gate so that it's extra convenient for me to let my pet in and out of the kennel. For this video, we'll be installing a 7.5 by 13 kennel. Now, there are lots of different sizes, so whichever one works best for you, this installation will apply the same. The installation of your kennel should only take a couple of hours, but you may need a bit of help. So I've called my buddy Mike over to make the installation extra smooth. Let's get started. Hey Mike. Hey Robin. All right, so we've got our kennel uh, and it's in the box. We're going to need a couple of extra tools. We're going to need a half inch socket wrench and a set of pliers. Now, the socket wrench will actually make the job go a little bit faster. Let's get going. So we're just laying out the bottom frame of the kennel. You want to use the pieces that have the slip fit design joints. One of the other things that you want to think about is the actual layout of the kennel. I want mine to go lengthwise this way, so I've got my 7.5 and, and my 13 feet. I also want to think about the positioning of my gate. I don't want my gate to run across a joint, uh, so I'm going to put my gate on this end. Then I want to start actually uh, getting the frame together. It's really easy. You just slip each piece into the other one. We're going to do that all around. Next, you want to get your vertical upright poles. These are going to make up the walls of the kennel. These are the ones that don't have the slip fit joint on each end. So you're going to get them and just lay them out. You're going to lay them out at each corner, and if it's a long kennel, it'll be in the center of each wall. You may need to consult your manual to make sure that you have the proper placement of these. Next, we're going to put a clamp on each of the vertical poles, connecting the vertical poles to the bottom of the kennel. So I'm going to take my clamp, and I'm going to position it around the bottom of the frame, and I'm going to position my vertical pole in the clamp as well. Then I'm going to take my bolt and install it through the small square in the clamp. I'm going to take the other side of the clamp and connect the two, get my nut, and tighten the bolt. You want each of your clamps to be snug, but you don't want them to be too tight. You'll need to be able to move your vertical pole upwards as you're going through the rest of the kennel. Now I'm going to repeat this process at each one of my vertical poles. Next I'm going to take one more vertical pole. This is going to be for my gate. So I want to measure 22 inches from my corner and that's where I'm going to put this pole. I'm going to use a clamp just like I did on all my other vertical poles. Once I have it attached, I'm going to raise both of these poles up and start attaching my top frame. Okay, so now we want to start connecting our top frame pieces to our vertical bars. And it's a good idea to start in this section where your door is because it's smaller and it'll be easier for you to do. This is also the area where it's a good idea to have a buddy help you. What we're going to do is take our clamps and connect our top frame pieces to our vertical bars, just like we did on the bottom. Now we're going to tighten the top and the bottom bolts. Okay, so next we're going to start attaching the rest of our top frame to the rest of our frame. 
and go around and attach our vertical poles using our clamps just as we did on this one. We're going to go all the way around. Now we're ready to start working with our chain link. And a tip to make this easier on you is to roll it out so that you can unkink any pieces. This will make it a whole lot easier to actually apply to the kennel. We're going to move it and do that. So now we're going to roll our chain link out. When it's packaged, it's all really tight together. This is just going to help you spread it out so that you can apply it to the kennel easier. So you may want to work in your driveway or if you have a nice stretch of lawn, that'll be fine too. So now that we've got our fence all rolled out, we want to walk down the fence and inspect it and make sure that all the links are just as they should be. And uh, I actually have a, a little area I need to correct right here. This is what we're looking for. Um, can you help me out down there, Mike? This link is just threaded a little bit too high for the rest of the fence. So you want to twist it, re-thread it as needed, hook the pieces back together. So that's a quick and easy fix. We just want to inspect the whole fence and make sure we correct this if we see it anywhere. So we've smoothed out all our kinks. Now we're just going to roll the chain link fabric back up so we can start putting it on our kennel. All right, so once you have it all rolled up, you're going to take this tension rod and you're going to slide it into the end of the last link. And we'll use this to attach the fence to the kennel. So now that we have this in place, we're ready to take our fence over and start putting it on the kennel. Okay, so now we've got our chain link up against our frame. We want to make sure that as we're rolling it around the kennel that it does roll to the outside so it's easier on us. We want to get our tension rod here and we're going to attach this to the frame using these C-clamps and it attaches really easily just like that. We're going to use four of them and once these are in place we're just going to start slowly rolling the chain link around the kennel. So now that we've made it back to our starting point, I'm going to hold this fencing really tight. And Mike's going to go around and make sure it's good and snug all the way around the kennel. Okay, it's tight. All right. All right, so once you have your chain link good and tight, you want to measure from your last pole four and a half inches. This will accommodate your C-clamp. And on your last good wire, you want to take the next closest wire and thread it out to get rid of your excess. Now we're going to take a tension rod and slide it into this end link that we have and we're going to install our C-clamps. Now it's important to make sure that your chain link is really good and tight for the safety of your dog. And once you've gotten it there, we're going to attach these wire ties along the fence. We're going to do these every fifth diamond at the top and every third diamond at the bottom and three times on every post. So next we'll need to attach our gate. We want the female end brackets. We're going to attach these directly to the gate using the bolts included. Next, we're going to attach the male portion of the hinges to the kennel itself. And when you do this, you want to be sure that the bottom hinge is facing up and the top hinge is facing down. This will ensure that your door doesn't move any. So we're going to go ahead and attach this one. I'm going to snug it up, but not too tight. All right, I'm going to get Mike to set it in place and make sure the height on the door is good, and it's perfect. Now, with Mike holding the door in place, I'm going to install the top joint. All right, and once we have it good and tight, we'll want to check the hinge, and it works great. Now we're going to install our lock. Okay, now we want to attach our latch to the actual door, not to the kennel. I'm going to take this U-joint and put it in here. Now we're going to put the back plate into place, get our nuts, and get this good and tight. And we're done. We do want to go back and make sure that all our fittings are really tight and that the chain link is good and secure. This is for the safety of your dog. Now you want to start acclimating your pet to his new kennel. Angus, come here! You want to make sure that it's a lot of fun for your pet. Have a good time. Let him go in and explore the kennel a little bit. Put his favorite toys in here. Give him lots of food and treats. We know you're going to enjoy the freedom a pet safe kennel gives to you and your pet. As you're installing your kennel and acclimating your pet, if you have any questions, please call our customer care center. They're standing by to help you. And most of all, thanks for choosing PetSafe.